as we know, late Bishop Vincent is a bishop and he is living in a community of bishops. I would like to invite a speech by the President of the Sudan and South Sudan Catholic Bishops Conference, Bishop Edward Ebor. Your Lordship, you are welcome. Your Grace, Archbishop Paulino, our President and the Vice President, dear brothers and sisters, this evening is one of the days we cannot forget. A few days ago or a few weeks ago, we had all the beautiful expressions of Christmas and New Year, which we celebrated so well. We were all grateful to God for enabling us to celebrate the Christmas in a good way, in a peaceful way, and also the New Year. But we got sudden, shocked, with the pass on of our beloved Bishop Vincent Majok. It's the making of the Lord. If we had the power, we would be able to prevent it, to allow our happiness to continue. But the good Lord who called him, who gave him to us, said, Bishop Vincent, it is enough. You have done quite enough. You come back home to rest. Together with you, dear brothers and sisters, I, on behalf of the bishops here in South Sudan and the Sudan, would like to thank God for the life of Bishop Vincent. He was a wonderful father, a caring father, someone who was a leader and who knew what he came and he was invited and called for. We enjoyed this company in many ways. And so we thank God that he brought this great man into our company who has contributed quite a lot to the growth of the Catholic Church in Sudan and South Sudan. I would like, in a way, in, on behalf of the bishops, on behalf of the Catholic Church, to thank the family, the family from which Bishop Vincent came. We all come from family, the men and the women, and the members of the family, in those good hands Bishop Vincent was given by God. They did the good job, thank you. And in fact, your son has left a legacy that will remain and from which you will continue to be blessed. I want to thank the people of Malakal, Upper Nile as a whole, for the gift of Bishop Vincent to the Catholic Church. He came from your numbers. He has done a good, good work for us. We are grateful, we are energized, we are strengthened, and we will continue to count on that blessing that he has done. In a particular way for the diocese, for the Diocese of Malacca, I thank you on behalf of the bishops, on behalf of the Catholic Church. Monsignor Rokotaban, with all the clarity in the religious, for the good work that you continue to do in a special way to take care of Bishop Vincent. You have done your part, and that's what you could be able to do, and the Lord has called him back. And I know Bishop Vincent will continue to be an intercessor for you, not only for you and for all of us. He's a good example for, to emulate someone you will be able to be proud that you had a father who did a good job. I want to thank His Grace, the Archbishop Paulino, the Archbishop of Juba, for the good care he took of Bishop Vincent. I was ever touched each time I passed by. Vincent, Bishop, Bishop, Bishop Vincent was always happy. He found himself in good arms. The others did all it can. In your care at Bishop Paulino, I'm sure Bishop Vincent will continue to pray for you. He has returned back home joyfully, happy, for the care you showed him. You taught us by example 
that is the way we need to care for one another. Together with all the clergy and the religious in the Andes of Juba, thank you. He could not end his work here. He has to move to the Andes of Khartoum, to which I want to thank you, Archbishop Michael Didi, and Exilary Bishop Daniel Adwok and Cardinal Zuber for the work you have done in the last moments of Bishop Vincent. You have provided him great care. Those last days that we have to go back to God is not always easy. Sometimes it can be met with a lot of worries and difficulties. But you have helped him. And I heard from you one religious sister called Flora gave her life to take care of the bishop at the last moment of his life. I thank this sister and all the people in Adaiso Khartoum for the good, good work we have done for him. I would like to thank our president. Thank you for being here at this Holy Mass and your advice. It's a great encouragement. You never know it, but we feel it. And I have known the years I've spent now as a bishop, all the bishops were passed on to God. You have always, always stood by us. I want to thank you. Indeed, we would not be able to do what has happened to bring the body of the bishop in a very short time and all the care and services that you have rendered to us. And I know Bishop Vincent will continue to pray for you as we do so that you continue to take care of these great people of God. As I want to end my words to you, I would like to, to say, you know, Bishop Vincent is one of the founding fathers of our church, of the Catholic Church. We have got to remember him because by the time he was about to be ordained, the missionaries left. And those were the priests who continued against the order of the time to build the church in this country, South Sudan and Sudan. And by the time he became a bishop, to this day, he left, he gave his life totally for the people in the Upper Nile. He was the face, the spiritual face in the Upper Nile. It reminds us of Bishop Mazlari Rumbek. It reminds us of Bishop Majak Deng in Wau. It reminds us of Bishop Joseph Gassi Abangit in Western Equatoria. It reminds us of the good work others have continued to do who are still alive. Bishop Parid and Torit, Archbishop Paulino here in Juba, Bishop Erklan in Ye, and Cardinal Zuber in Khartoum, and with his auxiliary. These were the people who have continued to build who we are today. As he passes on, if we were to ask him, Bishop, what do you say to us? And I'm sure he would tell us, by example, I was humble. I didn't want to pull more attention to myself because I knew I was a simple servant of God. Continue to be humble. Continue to love each other. Continue to take care of yourselves. Continue to, to forgive one another. Work on together for peace. I'm sure among these words, Bishop Vincent will be able to pronounce to the people of Upper Nile, you have a great leader. Usually in our African context, when an elder dies, the family sits down to look down and to check their, themselves how life has been. Maybe this is an opportunity for you in the Upper Nile, all the elders and the intellectuals, the churches, the community, to sit down to pick up the legacy of Bishop Vincent to build peace in that troubled part of our country. And I know Bishop Vincent will always be there. And he will also talk to us, the bishops, as he always did. He became emeritus just the same year I became a bishop, but he never left our conference. He always continued to encourage us to be strong. Whenever we even disagree, we say, pick up, hold on, move on. The Lord is present. He will tell us, bishops, we need to move on. I, as the, the head of the conference, I'm, dis, I'm deeply saddened 
Our number has come to five bishops. I want to ask you, the Christian community, to pray for us. In Sudan, we have four. In South Sudan, we have five. Two emeritus in South. We need to pray, and we need your prayers for us, so that the good work left by Bishop Vincent, it has to move on. And you surely tell the priest, the religious, the seminarians and the catechists, to hold on to Christ, because he's a virtue. He will never let us go. We continue to pray for him. We continue to pray for ourselves and to pray for our country. And I know that at this moment, all of us are strengthening our faith. May the God who created us and who gave us Bishop Vincent grant him eternal life. Amen. We thank you, Your Lordship, Bishop Edward, for your encouraging and consoling words.